Welcome to the Great Girlfriends Podcast, where we discuss life, love, laughter, and everything in between. I'm your host, Brenda Daniel. And I'm your co-host, Sybilla Moosey. <laughs> oh, we're both co-hosts. <laughs> you know, after 50 episodes, it seemed that we would have got this thing right. We do have it right, but when you didn't say it right, it messed me up. Okay, so I'm your co-host, Brenda Daniel. Oh, good. I'm your co-host, Sybilla <laughs> Moosey. <laughs> Oh my god, so guys, guess where we're recording from? We're recording from my computer in room 1243 at the Hyatt, and let me tell you something (laughs) right now, I really (laughs) would like to finish this po' boy in front of me. (laughs) We are recording live from Essence Festival. I don't know. Yes, Essence Festival. Simple giving people her room numbers, you better be glad this podcast ain't live. Goodness gracious. We are live from New Orleans, y'all. When I say popping, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the, what's the word that my niece them use? Popping. You no. so, you over. You pop, close to okay, forty when pop, you say popping. Popping is like nineties, right? That's eighties solid. That's poppin', like poppin my is, sister said that it when she was in the eighties. Popping is not eighties. Mm-hmm. I don't think popping's eighties. There's That's something else. Poppin. What's the other Somebody word? Fire. Said. Fire was nineties. That's fire. fire. It was 2000s, right? And then there's another word now. Um, look it at ain't us. fleek. Don't say fleek, fleek anymore. Fleek, fleek was the 2000s. Over. No, there's another word. Oh, my goodness. Do you know it? Oh, my. Okay, guys. This just shows our age. So, for those out of you. <laughs> or does it show our interest in keeping no, up with all these I'm going to tell you something. For our 20-year-old, 20-something-year-old listeners, can y'all please put in the comments of this podcast the word that I'm trying to say, because I know y'all know. Y'all probably laughing at us right now. It's all good, though. I'm going to need the world to slow down on all these terms. I know. We had a term no, that we, would last you like 10 years. No, we got to keep up, Sybil. We yeah. got to keep up. But this weekend has been absolutely incredible. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, blow our minds incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, we started the weekend out on fr- with Friday. Yep, Friday was with Prudential. OMG, it was so So much incredible. Fun. First of all, can we talk about the Prudential booth right quick? Oh, it was fun. That booth was it so, was they, they did it right they first time at financial Essence. financial jeopardy over there. They it did was it really right. cool. They did it right, they trust did. me. Special first time out, out, Prudential did it right. If y'all know and you've been at Essence Festival, you know some brands can get a little bit wrong. Prudential did it right. We're so happy. So we did Friday night with them, and we talked about um, building your brand with Michelle Thornton, the mm-hmm. SVP of Centric. And Michelle went in on us. She sure did. Look, we got ready to go up to the stage, and Michelle said, I'm hosting this panel. I know y'all think y'all the host, but I'm hosting this panel. And she straight took over. She did. Over. Oh, wait a minute. And, and, then, and then me and Sybil tried to sit beside each other. And she's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> she split us up. So, But she did a fantastic time, a fantastic job moderating it. Yes, she it did. It was so great. So, like, she made us dig deep, y'all. Deep. Got all in my relationship She business. got all up in everything. All, all it was amazing. It was really good. It was amazing. What did amazing, we do amazing. Friday night? It's all um, a blur, y'all. I feel like this is like, I don't know what, like, what matrix we're in right now, but. Friday night, we did concerts. And then Saturday, Friday, we did the, um, what did we do Friday? We did some other stuff on Friday. Friday, uh, we did, when did we do the concerts? I did the Verizon booth. And then okay, we did yes, the concerts. And then the concerts. Yep. yep. Um, talked about fashion and technology at the Verizon booth. And then we left there, we did the concerts. And then on Saturday, we had the most incredible time um, with Tisha Campbell Martin, Martin mm-hmm. and Tasha Smith on the Walmart stage talking yes. about friendship. Yes, they were on fire. When they were on fire. Those two, I have such respect for them. 30 years of yeah. friendship. Never ever thought of like comprom- of, of, um, of uh, giving up on their yeah. friendship. Never said they've always had full support for yes, each other. And then amazing. Tisha went and saved Tasha. That was that you know, story was so incredible. Right. Oh my God. And then Tasha, guys, Tasha started talking about her uh her annulment. Yes. And all the process behind it. When I say she gave detail, she gave detail. She gave detail. She gave detail. For detail. Any blogger who was trying to figure out what happened, she clarified. She gave, she gave it all. And she then told said, it all. Yes, it said Tisha was waiting for her outside the courtroom when 
she like got her what? Marriage annulled. Wait. Like what? So if you go to our um, Instagram at the Great Girlfriends, we'll have an image up of Tisha when she uh, in that pose. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that, that was so was... cute. And then to top it off, we got to go to the Ciroc Women's Empowerment Brunch honoring Tashina Arnold for her foundation work um, in the area of lupus. That was so incredible. Like, the women in the room were absolutely incredible. Yep. I love that they were honoring her. You know, they definitely honor her for her work, but I love they were really honoring her for her work that she does with lupus, which is near and dear to my heart. So, um, it was just amazing yes and thank you aisha reed our gg thank for, you thank you um, inviting yes. us to go out it was so much fun and we got to take over dj kiss's booth it was so much a fun. and we did if you guys go back to our facebook group we did a full on facebook live we at that did. event so you guys will get a chance to see a lot of that, uh, you know, meet a lot of the women that were there through the Facebook Live. I know. It was it was a lot of fun. The Ritz had the most fantastic breakfast, oh, girl, the shrimp and grits. My goodness, that breakfast was so good. I'm so Southern fed right now. That breakfast was so good. My jeans was, are not going to fit when I get home. Ain't nothing going to fit right. It's all right. You got a minute. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I got a minute. When I get home, I got to be got- Girl, my clothes ain't gonna fit right. You uh, got a minute. Uh, you got a minute. Flowy, uh, flowy frock dresses all summer to get get off get this back extra together. I know. I know. I know. Saturday night. So that was oh, and then Saturday night she was the dares. was she who dares dinner. Oh my goodness, so fantastic! If you have not heard of she who dares, it's a new initiative by Tybo Shump and Kelly Coleman. Yes. They just did an amazing... Like, that room felt like a family reunion. It did. It felt like a whole bunch of women who had been knowing each other for years, who wanted to see each other win. It was just a warm room. Mm -hmm. Like... It was a full celebration. It's one of those rooms that you don't get in often because those were super powerful women who were doing their things and everybody was just looking out for each other. It's true. And that's one of the things I respect about... Prudential and specifically Dorinda yes. because she's really a master at setting the atmosphere of women who have the same aligned heartbeat. I said to her, I said, you basically, cur- you did a lot in curating this room. Oh my goodness. She did like, exactly. I'm like, so many of these relationships are relationships that came from her. Yes. So, yes. So that was Saturday night. And then what'd you do after that, Brandon? Just then, tell the people what you did. At, at don't, don't you worry about what I did after that. What'd you do, Sybil? Why don't you tell the people go about the experience? <laughs> yes. That's what I did. Let me do. tell y'all something. I had a babysitter. <laughs> so me and my husband decided to get us some good sleep. And I am I'm not so ashamed of, of that. That's fantastic. That's yeah. exactly what you should do in New Orleans at Essence Fest. <laughs> That's How was Mariah? Mariah was Mariah. She was in full Mariah form. That's how I'm gonna say that. Wow. If you if you wow. know anything about Mariah, <laughs> wow. Mar- Mariah had Mariah came out on a on a uh, a chase chair with wow. eight guys carrying her. First of all, let me acknowledge the fact that she brought back the solid male dancer. Oh, like wow. she had she had dudes with pecs and they was out there shirts open just ripped just dancing like giving it all wow then Mariah came out with uh they had to be like five inch Christian Louboutin shoes and she you know Christian made these for me personally don't you love them you know she worked every side of the stage and do you like me over here do you like me over there? I just, it was <laughs> it was borderline Diana Ross <laughs> Like that's that that's where but, she is right but now. Di- Di- Diana Ross can roll with that. Well, Mariah is transitioning she's rolling. to her solid all right, legend. All right. Like she's in legend. You know what? Somebody right told her Mariah just own it. Oh, somebody what? somebody said to her Mariah own it. She should have said when she came out, "Welcome to Mariah's world." Because I she, honestly felt like we were all should, in Mariah's world. That's hilarious. But but straight up, when you look at the accolades that Mariah oh, has amassed crazy. over her career. It's crazy. She is one of the dopest female She's artists of all time. I mean, she is. She she has earned the she time and space. Strikes. Every single piece of it. She so did. after they played all of her accolades. Because she had to remind you. She had to remind <laughs> She reinforced. In case you don't know why I'm here. In case you don't know who y'all. I am. Let me just have forgot. Let me just show you something right So quick. after they played her resume. Okay. Her full resume. Okay. You, everyone had to stand at their feet. Wow. Because you're in the wow. presence of greatness. Wow. Like, you really were. 
And then today, which was just absolutely incredible, we got a chance to partner with Prudential for Faith, Finance, and Friendship. Yes. And that conversation was just so good. It really was. I, I really felt like um, the women that were there and the men, because there were quite a few men there. There were quite a few men. Enough. There were. There were. <laughs> the men were um, were engaged they and were. connected with the conversation. It was really good. And you gave them your good Oscar tears. And I think they love the like the Oscar tears. Girl, get out of I here with your Oscar tears. I know they love your Oscar tears. I do not have Oscar tears. Yes, I have, you do. You I have, have those speech tears. I, I have you. from the heart tears. Yeah, I've had like, them since I was ones forever. For the I got it from my mama. The best actors blame, can do those. Blame my mom. I'm just saying, you gave them the good tears. <laughs> you gave them the good ones. Blame my but mother. It was very, That's it was, how we are. It was a real honest conversation, and it was um, great. tied into power questions. Yep, and then rolled out to the dope brunch. Oh my gosh! At Irvin Mayfield's house, sponsored by Apollo, Kalila Elliott, who's the marketing director over there, um, invited us to join us. It was fantastic. So now we're here in the room doing this podcast before we roll out to hear who. Oh my goodness! To hear who? Puff Daddy and the Family. Hey, <laughs> all about the bitch of it. Oh, I'm so ready! I'm oh, so ready! I'm so baby. ready! Oh, the what things you I had do? to. The things I had to do to get a babysitter for tonight, Did Lord you have, have to mercy, to get a girl. You have to let do? me tell you. Anywho, we are gonna skip over that. <laughs> but I had to do some things to get a setup for tonight. So well, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I got it. So it and I'm so out. excited because my friend Lashana is gonna roll to the concert. Woo! We got it. We got it so much fun. So um, so cool. This was great. But we don't want to leave you guys with our five solid reasons why you need to be booked. For Essence Festival next year. Yes. Number one. Number one, it feels like the biggest black family reunion you've ever been to. And I know we have listeners from all over the world. If you want to experience black culture, this is the place to be. Absolutely. You got to be here. Absolutely. You get all the music. You get art. You get, you know, all the fashion. You get all the understanding of, like, our cultural... uh, dynamics and how yes. we roll and then you get to experience uh fantastic new orleans but this is the only event that allows us to all come together i can come with my mom and dad you can come we can bring our kids and they can do different things in new orleans but it really is truly a family reunion and it I is think that if you are part of this family or have respect for this family Come. Just come. Just come. And if you need to know what to do, hit up the great girlfriends. Yes, and Essence has done a fantastic job of keeping the experience consistent. Let's stop. Number two by far would be the relationships that you have the opportunity to build yes. here in this city yes. with the people that are visiting from around the world at Essence Festival. Absolutely. You know, we said this on the panel we had with Prudential on Friday. If you're looking to elevate yourself, your yes. brand... You know, your business, your idea, if you want to connect with VPs and you haven't been able to connect with them, or if you want to just hear insights from the leading thought leaders in our community, this, this is, is the place. place to be. This, this is, is the place. Absolutely the this place, is the place to be. And I'm going to say this. you Okay, you might like bourbon. Do your hour on bourbon. But get over to the convention center for the yes. empowerment. It literally is empowerment overload. It is. If you don't leave there educated on something new, you crazy. It is. Right? It is. I'm going to say number three, come for the Sunday morning worship oh, and gospel yeah. piece. I yeah. did not make it this morning. But when I tell you guys that there is no church like Essence Festival Church, <laughs> <laughs> I mean none. There is none other where you can hear a Kim Burrell and a Dunny McClurkin and a you know, Tasha Cobbs, mm-hmm. all on the same stage together. If you like gospel music or you want to experience gospel music, th- there, there is no place better than the Essence Festival. And people That's don't true. think that. They think that, you know, but I'm telling you, Sunday mornings, the Essence Festival is on fire. That's so true. No, yeah. it is. And it, it's all kind of just rehydration, oh, nourishment. It's on you fire. You know what I mean? It's on fire. Yeah. I would say next would be specifically it's the party with a purpose. Like yeah. this is the time where you get together. And some people, some people say, "Oh, Essence Festival is it's gotten so you know this or that, and the parties are all so uh, mm-hmm. excessive." Mm-hmm. And but there there are so many different dinners that are happening and yes. brunches that are happening and small meetups that are happening and different kind of connections that people are making that are very intentional. So you, right. you have the option of doing. What you want to do, that's so you true. know, and, and doing that in the French Quarter, and that's fine, too. But for us, we came this year 
strictly off the intent that we were doing business and building and, and uh, strengthening relationships with Absolutely. people that matter to us. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm so torn for number five because I have two things. Okay, so let's let's go more. Let's do more. Okay. Okay. So number five, I was going to say, this is the place to come with your great girlfriends. Woo! This is the place to come with your great girlfriends because there is so much for you guys to do mm-hmm. as a squad. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm telling you, and you know sometimes you travel with your friends, somebody want to do this, somebody want to do that. There is something for all of your girls in this situation. I'm telling you. It's, it's true. And you yeah. can meet up with other women. Like at the concert, when Kwaku checked out, Kwaku yes. was like, I'm, the, I'm looking to my right, me and this other girl vibing yep. on the audition. I'm telling and you. And we exchanged numbers and yeah. we connected. And then the next night, I actually went to the concert on Saturday night by myself. I love it. But ended up in the section with all these other women just laughing and So it don't matter. It really don't. I was a, never alone. Right. You're never, never alone. alone. You it was are, really cool. You are never alone. Yeah. That was actually my number six was um, the concerts. The concerts. Y'all, like, seriously. I mean, you. It, it's very difficult to go anywhere else and get this amount of concerts for the price. Because I was about to say, if for you the price. think about it, all of these legends, if you paid individually to go see Mariah in Las Vegas, you would not be able to afford her. But if you come to Essence Festival, you get to see all, all of, these, of them. And they're not giving all you no sideshow. You're getting premium experiences from Because they don't want to come to Essence and, and bomb Can't out. do it. No. <laughs> They gotta you got it. way too many people going to be what? on social. That's why I want to go. That's why this concert tonight was so important for me. I was like, there is no way in the world Puff Daddy and the family is going to come to Thank Essence you. Festival and be whack. Because he got to sell tickets for the he rest of his tour. He got to sell tickets for the rest of his and, and so many different artists are in town that Mariah is able to bring the brat and J- and uh, Jermaine I'm... Dupree on stage. That's so all saying. the surprises that come out of Essence Festival, you just can't beat all of that. I'm expecting all kind of goodies tonight. I'm yeah. so excited. I got one more. Okay. I'm telling you, there is no city on the planet like New Orleans, there Louisiana. There isn't. There's not one. There isn't. And when I say New Orleans opens their arms every they single do. year for they almost do. 20 years for Essence Festival. They do. They've done a fantastic job. You can go to any restaurant. They want to make sure your food is good. And if yeah. it's not good, they have a problem with it. Yeah. The service is amazing. Yeah. Everywhere you go, we just And the people are so people. nice. The people are so look, nice. Look, and my other one would be because you can hear people say, baby. Ah! <laughs> you can run into a second line anywhere. You can run into a you second. run into a brass band. I mean, you're just gonna experience a different type of black culture that you may not have understood or, or even it's had interest so in. So true. But to see the way New Orleans welcomes Essence yeah. Festival and welcomes us and take and takes care of us. Um, it's such an honor to be able to come back. And yeah. New Orleans is one of my favorite cities because I'm a Dillard University graduate from the year 2000. <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying. So, no, you know, it's I got love for New Orleans. It's, the people here are so nice. So nice. So They're nice. so nice. And they know we're not going to be here long. Yeah. And they just, make, they just make you welcome with open arms. They do. So, you you know, and I just feel like that type of hug, that type of love that we get. And you I'm going to tell you. You can't beat the okay. It's hot as I don't know what. It's right? so hot. It's, it's Lord sweltering. Have mercy. Like it's coming from your Lord feet. Lord have mercy. It's, so it's hot. all in your, it's in between your toes and all that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't because you're just having such a great time with the people that you're here with. You're enjoying food, music. Funny people. You can't get enough. You <laughs> never watching. feel like I never. It's kind of like New York to me. I feel like you can never conquer New York. Oh no, there's so because much more. because why you think you're conquering it? It's like evolving and evolving, yes. and then there's like levels, so many levels to it, right? Yes. I kind of feel like the same thing with Essence Festival. Oh my god, you can't conquer it because there's so many things going on that you don't know about. There's so many levels to Essence Listen. Festival, and there's so much to do that every year it's like. Okay, I didn't do that last year. I'm gonna do this this exactly. year. I didn't do that last year. I'm gonna do. It's just and so your, your much. Your goals to do. are different because when Essence first started this festival, I was in college. Wow, and I was coming here to hang out. And right, then I was right. like, Ooh, look at all the guys. Oh right. my goodness, look at all the you know right. have all the music and all that. Now coming back at a totally different mental space. Absolutely. You know, and even over the years, just progressing in terms of what I want to get out of Essence. I would say when you come, because you got to come next year, and I know we're going to see you next year, and I know we'll be back doing more panels and more yes. activations with all our favorite brands, and we are booking now. just want to throw that out. All right. Just put that in. <laughs> while, put while, that while you're spending your budgets, <laughs> we, we are available. But I also want to say, 
set out now and say, what do you want to get out of Essence Festival? Yes. Because we said last year when we when we did this podcast, we wanted to be on stage at Essence Festival absolutely. with at least one brand. Yep. And it happened. It did. It happened. It absolutely happened. Yep. Um, just so incredible. Yeah. Like, and it's so much, again, I, you guys remember we talked about new year, new story. That was at the beginning mm-hmm. of this year mm-hmm. and talking about writing out your story. And it, it, there's so much power in writing out your stories. Sybil mentioned earlier, there's a post that we put on our Instagram that says rehearse your victories and kind of, you know, say the things that you want out of life and then rehearse them in your head being done. Yeah. Like just yeah. rehearse it over and over. Our thoughts have so much power and our yeah. words have even more power. So yeah. our words are going to be our story is that next year we will be back at Essence Festival. Oh yes. Working with a few amazing brands. I want to do five brands next Let's year. Let's do five brands. And I also want to host a special event for the great girlfriends. Yes, like a dinner, a dinner or a brunch or yeah. something. So it's going to happen. Yeah. And we want to work directly with Essence. Yeah. Absolutely. We work directly with Essence. Essence, Absolutely. we want to work Essence, with Essence, we want to be doing a podcast from Essence. Let's That's do a right. live podcast from in a room Let's from do Essence. It. Let's do it. I love it. Oh, we love you guys so yeah. much. Yes, thank you for all of you guys that were here at Essence yes. Festival. Yes, who guys came out. See. Yeah, and were tagging us. We appreciate it. It was so much fun to see everyone that was here. And um, those of you who were coming home, too. We'll see you soon in New York. We're going to be celebrating one year on July 29th. Yes. So there will be information going around about that and uh we want to thank those husbands let me tell you something kwaku probably standing outside the door <laughs> like a this guard dude is straight Look, up managing us so hilarious i'm getting text messages from kwaku and i'm like oh maybe this is simple emailing me from kwaku, That's kwaku. He, is. he is not playing with us managing right the situation now because he don't want to hear from us later this he week he does not want to hear managing and rich was on it too rich oh was like, my All god right, they gotta do those podcasts today let's get it done girl let me tell you them having them in a the car together talking about monetizing we gotta keep oh, them Lord. to a part Lord a little Jesus. bit talking about the great girlfriends <laughs> That was not. We're sitting in the back like two kids. Like, they go no. in. They go in on us, but they are so incredibly supportive, and we're they so are. blessed yes. to have men in our lives that support our dreams and our ambitions, yes. and um, and to our children, oh, Sam, Dilly, who are holding babies. it down in Memphis. Yes, I can see them. I know. And Miss Sky, who's with her auntie Crystal and Uncle Derek right now, and my mom, who was yeah. here the whole weekend yes. keeping Sky. Oh, our families. We cannot do it without our families. No, thank you so your much. Aunt, your sister has the yes, babies, right? my sisters are holding it down. My parents haven't seen my kids That's since hilarious. we left town. That and is my mom hilarious. said, and I'm not mad about it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was our way of saying it's cool it's cool they it's spending cool. their auntie time they have been they in got the their mix, auntie time so we, like, we couldn't be here acting all wild and, and flipping we could and not without our, without our family these sisters and this mom and dad that we have is just amazing that's right and we want to thank all of you guys oh my goodness we hit 33,000 downloads which it's still unbelievable in 50 episodes like just unbelievable so thank you so much for your support thank you for spreading the word we've got a couple emails in our inbox now of women who are just telling us how much they love the podcast yes. and that they're spreading the word. So thank you <laughs> yes. guys so, so much. And thank you for your iTunes reviews. Yes. Those reviews help us to get a better positioning and help us to know what we're doing right and what we can do better. So we thank you. We have about 24 iTunes reviews and wow. our goal is to get 50 Let's at do least it. by the end oh, of we can do the that. summer. Our great girlfriend right? got us. So thank you so much for all of you who are um, submitting your reviews. Um, make sure you are posting on social at, um, on Twitter, the underscore great GFS on Instagram, the great girlfriends, Facebook, the great girlfriends and get in that Facebook group. Yes. Get get in in the group guys. The women are in there just being amazing and loving on each other. And make sure you post your questions to us over email at the great girlfriends at gmail.com. Um, share with friends. Keep listening and, and keep, keep being, being a, a great, great girlfriend. girlfriend. I'm Sybil headed I'm... out to go see Diddy. Woo! I'm going to go see Diddy in action. You know, all I keep saying is uh, uh, little Kim. I know. Maybe she'll be, come on. Call us. Shot call us. Crawl us. <laughs> okay. And Brandis. And we're signing, <laughs> and we're signing off. And we're signing off. Festival. Woo!